lost my passport and the transmission is leaking oil. Well, it's my last time at the shop before we go on this road trip. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm just gonna be taking random clips and slapping them together. You know what, guys? Is this a wise thing for me to do? I don't know. You have my blessing, but you'll probably never do it again. Mostly Josh can do the blame. <laughs> well, do I all have your consent to film you? Yes. <laughs> no. Okay, on three, let's go. One, two, three. Let's, let's go! go. Three hundred and ten K sixty eight liters, boys. Hey, Our last Daddy. Tim's. Well, we're at the border, boys. Hopefully, we'll let's get go. <laughs> the Mexican made it across the border. Made it. Made it. Land of the free because of the Braves. First breakdown. Dan's got all the power for his truck running through one little fuse. So she burnt down, boys. I didn't bring any fuses. Put the biggest one you got. All t oh, I got one biggish one. So where the yellow one's pretty big. Started without your lights on, because your lights were on until you tried to see. Yeah, that was probably it. <laughs> yeah, because you've never really started with your lights. So we made it to the first hotel and my brother's lost like he always is because he never pays attention to anything. But he's a good man, so we're gonna wait for him. But we'll see you guys tomorrow when we get back on the road. It's seven in the morning and we're gonna go hit a skate park because Ray's found a sweet rail he wants to skate, so <laughs> let's go. I know you can't really grasp how amazing this view is, but it's pretty cool. Six two sounds a little rattly in the morning, but she does look good. Okay, it's day number two. Forever up. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what? Is it spraying oil out of there? No, I just dumped oil. Oh. Day number two and a half, and um, we're doing good. You know, we're in Salt Lake City. We're going to be going to Las Vegas today and then Phoenix tomorrow. So today we're finally going to hit that warmer weather. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, Reese, pop a kicky. We're doing a fit check here with Sam. We're rocking the El Steel 2. Steel. El Steel 2. El Steel Toe boots. Brutal Wranglers. Let's see, let's see. Woo! Oh, Levi's. Good old farmer's shirt. What we got on this side? Oh, my man. Fits the belt. And Sam's Trucks hats. With a little notch cut out of it. Yo. For a cool vibe. Well, we're about two hours out of Las Vegas, guys. Right? Two hours? An hour and a half? Three? Anyways, we're doing good. Having a good time. The weather's getting warmer, you know what I'm saying? Are the trucks running good, guys? Good enough. 
Look, yeah, at, look, look how much taller Dan is than me. A little shrimpy boy. <laughs> a little squat going on there. <laughs> Yeah, going good. We'll see you guys when we get to Las Vegas. Well, we made her to somewhere. Where are we, boys? Bible. In and out. We're made it in and out, boys. Anyways, we got the Bible in hand. I don't know why. Touching the Bible with cigarette stained fingers. Jeez, Louise. I didn't smoke a cigarette, I smoked a cigar. Anyways, we're gonna grab a burger and then keep hitting the road. Hope you guys like the time lapses. They're a battle just to keep the phone from falling over. <laughs> Man, that works so much better than I'm trying to cut them off. Top down. Power? Oh, for sure. That horsepower Hacienda one is probably adding 25 horse, maybe more. If you want a sticker on the truck, send me one. No, Sam. All right, what we're doing right here is Blaine. I'm throwing my phone here off a cliff. So it's about what 150. Okay. And uh, he, when he catches it, he's gonna show you how high we are here. You ready? Yeah, boys. Let's go! Let's go, boys! Inspection went good. Off to bomb the bridge. So Blaine's been driving most of this trip. It's kind of nice. I just hang out, drink cold snacks. And him drive and I, I just I'm on the radio anyways we're just at the Hoover Dam right now and we're about to be ripping get some lunch but I got some clips for you guys hope you like come on dude Josh follow me man Mexicans running away. <laughs> well, it's about 6.30 p.m. 
it's super dark out here but anyways we made her and uh i'm super tired but i hope you guys like some of the clips coming down and i film some stuff that we do around here and then we'll film it on the way back but it's been a good trip no problems praise the lord right blaine amen amen to that blaine drove probably 80 percent of the way and i enjoyed every minute of it so you almost died yeah hit a pothole dog water roads in arizona and we hit like three or four potholes back to back and I'm swerving with the no power steering. I start skidding sideways like Tokyo Drift. Really? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I straightened her out. No big deal. We made her to Phoenix. It's all good. We made her to Phoenix. Let's go. Blaine, we made her to Phoenix, man. Manners. I'm not buying a bunch of stuff. Let's just put it all in there. I, I can buy it all if you want. No, no. That's that. I'm not Good morning, my friends. We are here in Phoenix, and there's fighter jets flying over us right now, so hopefully we're not getting bombed. Anyways, we are on our way to the truck show now. Yesterday was the full-on truck show, which today is the second part of the show, which isn't quite as good as what I've heard, but that's okay. Whenever we're in Phoenix, my guys, we're in Phoenix. At the car wash, look at this thing. So fancy, my boys. Pretty slick. <laughs> oh no. Did it soak a bunch of stuff? Looking shiny. Let's go. So we made it boys. We're just in line here for the show. I think we probably have the rustiest truck in the show. So that's something I guess. Anyways, we're gonna get parked here and then we're gonna walk around and take a gander at some trucks. Oh, that's got a Detroit. Dan, what do you think? Pretty I slick, do, eh? I can do better. Pretty slick. You can never have too many trucks, my guys. Right, Reese? Never. vibrated there was a vibration in the drive line and it just worked its way out so i'm going to jack the truck up and we're going to tap it back in and keep ripping and hopefully that fixes our problem so anyways yep all right so we're going to get the jack 
We're gonna lift it up. We're gonna lift the car. is going 90 miles an hour, two feet from the truck. So as you can see, the seal worked its way out just because of the vibration. I'm hoping it didn't crack the case, but we will see. Not blown engine. Here, does only want to brake? Do we do have any brake clean? We got her tapped back in here. I just took the hammer and tapped the seal in. The, the output seal for the output shaft just popped right out. I don't know how. I hope, it didn't, I hope the crate case isn't cracked here, but... Off. We've got go karts to race, so we've got to go. So we're back on the road again, and we'll see how long the seal lasts this time, because it actually just worked itself out there, like you saw. But for the time being, boys, we're chilling. chilling. We're just chilling. Octane Racing Boy. Do what yeah. you know you need to do and then get to move on. What? Oh no. No, oh, this one's fine. Minus the drag he just did. This goes mid. Taco Bell is a mid place. <laughs> minute. Like, how do they make tacos in one minute? Have done it from the comfort of my voice. Yeah, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Is it okay? Let's go do it again. That's Can we put some money on how far we make it before the whole journey just blows right out the back? It's good. Oh, that would be fun. I got like 500 bucks that we can make it. Like we got a rope right you can Ready? pull us home with? Bangle. That would be the end of a good trip. Okay, we're done here. We're done. Are you guys enjoying the drive today? Oh yeah, it's way better without playing. <laughs> good stuff. Only like 19 more hours to go, boys. Yeah. Throw us the graphic on your full throttle. Look at that. Full ah! 
I can't do a very good hog. <laughs> Is this supposed to be the Grand Canyon? No. Reese, how do they make these places? Yeah, uh, aliens. Like, I bet illegal aliens. I bet people have uh, walked by. <laughs> the drive camped off again. So this very kind man here who's looking on this sweet blazer which you'll see in a second here. He uh, just helped us whack out a U-joint and I learned how to do it a different way than I do it. It looks much easier and much better so I'm going to start doing it his way. Those old guys always have the best tricks. <laughs> so this stop this little service station here and if I could work anywhere in the world I'd want to work here. It's cute little town in this old station. Got this cool 4x4 blazer here. So it's pretty much midnight. It's pretty much midnight. Uh, we lost our backpack because the tailgate didn't get shut all the way. Lost my passport and the transmission is leaking oil like crazy. And we have 15 minutes to get back into Salt Lake City. Let's go! Alright, so we made it about about eight kilometers, we ran her out of oil again. This transmission is on its last leg. I don't know what we're gonna do. We lost our passport. The engine's about to, it's squeaking. The transmission's about to blow. Let's we're in put Salt the oil in there before we lose the tranny. We're in Salt Lake City. <laughs> I don't know, boys. Is it pouring out of there? It's not pouring, but it's leaking good. Okay, we made her back to the hotel. She's shipped in super soggy. I don't really feel like goofing around with this right now and I don't think Reese is either. So we are going to grab a room and hopefully go to bed and deal with this in the morning. Danny is like three hours down the road on his own. And uh, yeah, this is just a joke. Lost our passport, lost it, uh, just, and just a just a day you know what i'm saying it's like midnight we're in salt lake city and i don't know how we're gonna get home but anyways let's uh talk to you later all my tools are right here oh well, my tools are spread all over the road here let's pick them up well we found my bible chunks of it we found chunks of my bible we found some tools reese is gonna go for a skate see if he can find the rest of the passports. I'm gonna look around here. So Reese just skated like a mile down the road. He found my backpack. <laughs> Dude, and it's, it's still it's still usable, bro. No, it's toast. But you I found- I am holding it like this because it's But you toast. found the passport. Yeah, the passport was in there. <laughs> Way in some back street. Bro, it was like so far down the road. <laughs> like I've been skating- Let's go. I've been skating down the road since I called you. Oh man. I went down there, I found my hat. Nice. We're in Salt Lake City. We have a passport that Reese found way down the street. We went, we, we drove two hours, realized we lost it, drove all the way back, found my backpack pulverized on the road. Two old pulverized, people are still <laughs> driving over them. Let's go. Dude, the ba I just kept skating down and I kept finding pieces of the B-Blade. <laughs> so I kept picking them up and I kept rolling down. Like so far down, like gotta be over a mile down the road. <laughs> and then I see a f broken off inner fender well <laughs> on the road, on the side of the road right next to the curb. I was like, oh, what's that? I go check that out. And then right next to it is the backpack. <laughs> and like clothes strewn everywhere. <laughs> so if you see this video and you were the guy that your fender got ripped off. Sam owes you a fender. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, Sam's the truck, baby. transmission is dusted. Something, it's shift, if it can hold fluid, we'll make it, but I don't know if it's gonna hold fluid. So I'll, I'm gonna address that tomorrow. We're gonna get a good night's sleep and we're probably not gonna be home until Wednesday now. Um, I'm hoping to be home tomorrow, but that's okay. Anyways, praise the Lord, we prayed and we found it. We went two hours, came back, found it. All right, we'll see you guys later. I've gotta add one more thing. So my Bible 
was in my backpack. And this morning when I put it in there, I was thinking, ah, maybe I shouldn't put it in here. But then I did because I've been leaving it on my dash. Anyways, Reese went skating down the street and he kept on finding pages of the Bible as he's going. And he just he kept on finding him. He's like, I'll just keep going until they run out. And then was it like at the end? He didn't see any pages after? I don't know. I skated for probably like a quarter mile without any pages. And then I seen another one. And then I seen the wheel well. And then there's a wheel. Yeah. And then he found it. So the word of God led him to my passport. <laughs> Let's go. And we're still in Salt Lake City, which is still about 14 hours, 15 hours away from home. Good morning. We are at Harbor Freight to pick up some ramps so we can get under the truck because it's too low. We picked up a seal already at Napa. We're gonna lift the truck up, throw this seal in, throw some more ATF in, and hope we make it back. Let's go. Okay, we got our ramps. We got another socket set because the other one got lost. And we're gonna go back to the truck now and see if we can fix this bad boy. Okay, Andrew, for like the fifth time. <laughs> we'll pull the drive shaft off again. Yeah, I got her. Bang ring. What do you think? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. So why is this one leaking so bad? I got rounded off here. <laughs> at least we know what we're doing. Imagine all the people that are looking at us in the parking lot. <laughs> Make sure your tools are all nice and organized. Been run over multiple times. <laughs> this was a really nice shirt. This is how she goes. And we're back on the road. We're just going to the gas station here. We're gonna get some gas. And hopefully make her, hopefully this transmission just holds up until we get home. Okay, so we made her about 10 miles down the road. She's, I forgot to put the gas cap on, spilling gas everywhere. Oil's still coming out of the trans, we're just having a bad time. Everything's just going south. Anyways, posted a thing on Facebook, the guy got a hold of me, his name is Bryce. Amazing guy, he called me, said he'd come pick me up right now at the gas station. But we're gonna try and drive back there, and then if we don't make it, he's gonna hook a trailer on and come get us. So the adventure continues. Well, we got her back to this guy's shop here. His name's Bryce. He pulled through on many levels, came and picked us up on the side of the highway. He's taking us to the airport. He's gonna let me store my truck here for a few months. We'll see how long it takes to get back down here and grab it, if at all. If not, I'll just sell it to him and move on with life. But this trip, so this trip didn't really go as planned. But that's okay. Goes. You'll look back in a year and be like, oh, hmm, interesting. We're going to go to the airport now and hopefully make her back. Tomorrow, we're going to be flying all night. We're going to Los Angeles and then over to Minneapolis and then to Calgary. So we'll be flying all night. I'm going to be tired as balls. But that's okay. All right. We'll see you at the airport. All right. It's... We're about six o'clock. Quarter to six. It's November the fourteenth, and we're going to be flying to LA, and then over to Missouri, and then back to Calgary for about two p.m. tomorrow afternoon. It's, yeah, it's Missouri or Minnesota? Or what? Is it Minnesota? Is it or Minnesota? I don't know. Going coast to coast here, boys. On the plane. So we're in Minnesota right now. We went from Salt Lake City to Los Angeles to Minnesota, and now we're going back to Calgary. We barely slept. It's been a very long, you know, 36, 48 hours now. Truck is stuck in Salt Lake, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. I've had some great people reach out to me and offer to help me and haul it back. And and the guy that's storing it, his name is Bryce, and he's from Utah, and his company is called Twisted Wrench Garage, right? Wrench Garage. Great guy. Helped me out a lot. 
Anyways, we're about to get on this plane and then we're gonna head home and that'll be the end of this trip. <laughs> or rather, an experience. I'd say it's more of an experience. <laughs> We're in Calgary. I actually feel pretty good. Did you sleep? We, we got a little sleep. A little bit. A little yeah. bit <laughs> Anyways, I think we made it to the end of the road trip, boys. Shane is picking me up here. And uh, we're just going to go home and relax. You know what? It's been a good time. It's an experience. I do miss my family a lot. And I don't know if I'll do that type of thing again without them. But, you know what? We learned some lessons. We probably spent twice as much money as we were planning to. We were gonna be right on budget until the truck broke down, but that's okay. That's just how it goes, you know. Comment, leave a like, subscribe. Tell me something you liked about the trip, something you thought I should have done. Maybe some advice, but anyways, hope you guys have a great day. God bless you all. Never hit coming up with all these ramps, so we should be okay. Oh yeah. There we go. She's back on Canadian soil. <laughs>